So guys, now we have Christmas tree syndrome. Doctors issue health warning for real tree owners. I don't remember this as a kid. Warnings about our Christmas trees. But real trees can trigger an allergic reaction with symptoms that can include wheezing, coughs, congestion, sore eyes, and potentially life-threatening asthma attacks. One way to reduce the risk, a good shake, can get rid of some dust and pollen. Wow. What they're allergic to is the mold that settles on the tree during its growing time and arguably sometimes when it's waiting to be sold here on the lot. That comes from a Christmas tree farmer. One study found the mold count from a live Christmas tree rose to five times the normal level two weeks after the tree was brought indoors. Okay, indoors where it's dry. Uh, you could give your tree a bath too to get off the mold, which could trigger an allergic reaction. Get your tree in the backyard and hose it down. Then put it in the house and you're good to go. Allergists recommend a thorough spraying of the branches and trunk and then letting it dry outside for a day. Doctors say another possible allergy issue is the water in tree stands that can grow the mold. You might to be careful about getting someone else to add water to the tree because that stirs up the mold that's in the reservoir. Wow. Wow. The idiocy that they put out. And Americans, they buy it and they buy it and they buy it and they believe it. Might it have something to do with the aerosol spraying? You know, here I have some videos that were on Kafka Winston World wanting to repost, but, but why? I mean, and this, this is probably only a fifth of all of the sky shares. Look at these, look at this, just even the pictures. You don't have to look at the video to know that something is very, very wrong with our sky, that they are spraying something, right? You would think that people would just, hey, this isn't right. You'd think that they would just ask a question instead of ignoring what is happening right above them. All of these toxic chemicals, heavy molds, heavy metals, and they are spraying Fungi. Fungi. Isn't it great? We have fungi here. Let's just watch this one video that I had about the trees here in Anderson, South Carolina. They're supposed to be growing straight up. Figure out. Could you back up more to the other one that was in? This one's leaning. Oh, shit. You mean to tell me those branches are so heavy that they're pulling that tree over like that? This is not normal. And look at the amount of 
on the stop sign and that street sign. Yep. Wow. Guess what? We're breathing that stuff in. We're breathing it in and guess what? Yeah. It's wow. causing a whole lot of people to have allergic reactions. They're having uh Asthma attacks. Hi, everyone. I posted a video about a year ago. Sorry about the audio. I don't know what's wrong with it, but that's how it posted on YouTube. I went up to Maine, and in that video I said that I was really surprised to see that the trees up in Massachusetts, New Hampshire, and Maine looked relatively healthy um, compared to the trees that I've seen in other areas of the country, the trees in South Carolina. And I also mentioned in that video that there wasn't much geoengineering going on in Maine, that the sky actually looked blue. In a year's time, I cannot believe what I am seeing. I cannot believe the destruction of the trees. Most of the trees around here coated with fungal disease. From the, from the bottom to the top, there are pockets where the trees look um, relatively healthy. But this is what you see all over the place in just a year's time. Bark peeling off trees, trees cracking, trees dying, trees are vital to life. We need them. They sustain life. And the chemicals and metals that they are spraying with this geoengineering are killing the soil, killing the microbes, killing the bacteria that trees need to stay healthy. This is happening all over the place. If you don't know it, put in the YouTube search bar, trees dying, chemtrails, or geoengineering, and you will see that people are posting videos on trees all over the country, in Canada, all over the world. This is what the geoengineering is doing to nature, to life, killing it. And I think about these younger, um, the younger generations. This is all they know now. I've seen some Netflix movies and some shows. And in every movie and in every show, you see the grid patterns in the sky. You see the chemtrails in the sky. You see the artificial sunsets. You see the artificial sky. And these younger people of their generation, that's all they know. You get a few generations to see this and not know what nature used to be. They will just accept the artificiality of everything without fight. And you think about that Harvard experiment and all the people who you were trying to reach, you were trying to educate about the geoengineering that has been going on for decades, intensely for years, dumping us with chemicals and metals. They will just accept that the geoengineering starts when the scientists say it starts. And they're not going to look at you and say, you were right. They're just going to think that, okay, it started then. And they'll never do research to find out how dangerous it is to life. But why worry? Why worry? We now have genetically modified trees. 
Yeah, genetically modified trees. Well, I guess I'll post these videos. And I had many tree videos showing all of the mold, all of the fungi, all of the fungal disease. And you know what? The video that you just, the, the first video that I showed, that was years ago. Now the trees here in Anderson, every tree, every tree is so coated with disease. And then, well, <laughs> what do you do? When even property owners with their own trees don't seem to be doing anything about it. Well, yeah, I guess on Christmas Day when you go to visit somebody and they have a real tree, stay away from it because it's loaded with chemicals and heavy metals and fungi and dust. If it's not shaken, <clears throat> that dust, smart dust, whatever kind of dust it is, it is making people sick, but Christmas tree syndrome, they'll never tell you that they're coated with all of the incredible toxic chemicals that they are spraying on our trees. But they shouldn't have to tell you. Americans should just know because it is right smack in their face every day. Every day. Every day. Merry Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas.